Okay, so last thing we have to discuss here. Correct, correct. Last thing we have to discuss here is Henry's law. Write down. Henry's law. Henry's law. So write down at a given temperature. At a given temperature. The amount of A. The amount of of a given gas given gas dissolve per unit volume per unit volume of a given solvent of a given solvent and this solvent is liquid here given solvent is directly proportional is directly proportional is directly proportional to the partial pressure the partial pressure of the gas in equilibrium with the liquid in equilibrium with the liquid so Henry's law, it is actually applicable for the solution of liquid and gas, where gas is the solute, which is B, and liquid is the solvent, which is A. Rolf's law, if you remember, Rolf's law, if you remember, it is valid for liquid in liquid solution, not liquid in gas. Okay, so this is one thing you must keep in mind. Right, so Henry's law is valid for liquid in gas and Rolf's law is valid for liquid liquid solution. Okay, this is the one difference we have. Now what it says that in a given uh, like amount of liquid in a given amount of liquid the amount of gas dissolved in this liquid depends upon the partial pressure of the gas suppose these are the gas we have present in the air so gas which has more partial pressure will dissolve more into this liquid okay according to the partial pressure of the gas right so the amount of gas increases into the solution if the partial pressure of the gas increases. Copy down this. Okay. So what we can write here, the amount of gas dissolved or the concentration of gas, if I am taking as A, the concentration of gas in the uh, water this concentration of gas in the water is a suppose so a is directly proportional to the partial pressure of the gas of the gas 
So A is directly proportional to the partial pressure P of the gas. If I remove this proportionality sign, sign A is equals to KH into P, where this KH is the Henry's Law's constant. KH is the Henry's constant. Henry's constant. This KH, the factor on which the KH depends upon, KH depends upon, you write down, depends on the first factor is the solvent used. solvent used in this this is not that much important but what you have to keep in mind for a given gas for a given gas the value of kh the value of kh is different if solvent is different if solvent is different so for different solvent for the same gas we may have different value of kh henry's constant second point pressure As the pressure increases, pressure increases, dissolution increases. Dissolution increases. Okay? More pressure, more will be the dissolution. For this, you can keep the example in mind that in cold ring, the gas that is dissolved, CO2, that is dissolved at very high pressure. We used to, you know, uh, like the packaging of cold ring is done, is very high pressure, so that the gases must be dissolved into the cold ring sample. Okay? Understood? So high pressure is required for the dissolution of gas. Okay. Third point. These two second third point is very important point we have, which is temperature. Right. So as temperature increases, as temperature increases, the value of KH also increases. Henry is constant. And when KH increases, the solubility, solubility decreases, right? You see here, for a given temperature, if this K decrease, right, to make the you know, product constant, and when pressure decreases, amount of gas in dissolved in solvent also decreases. Basically, this you let it be just one thing you keep in mind for, you know, you must have, you know, you must have drunk the uh, boiled water, a uh, warm water, right? Warm water, right? So in warm water, what happens? There's no taste, right? It looks like very, uh, it tastes like very weird of the warm water, right? Why this happens? Because at higher temperature, when you boil the water, right then all the gases which is dissolved into the water that escapes into the atmosphere and there is no dissolved gases into the water that's why the taste changes even one example i have given you in the class that all these aquatic animals live used to live deeper into the sea not at the surface of uh, like the surface of the water just below the surface of the water because there the temperature is higher comparatively because of the sunlight 
so that's why the oxygen content in the surf in the water which is there on the surface is very less in comparison to the oxygen content which is there in the deeper in the sea right that's why most of the aquatic animal they don't used to live at the upper surface of the water right they used to live deeper into the sea because oxygen content is more over there so the point here is what for dissolution of gas the favorable condition is what high pressure high pressure and and low temperature high pressure and low temperature is the favorable condition for the dissolution of gas this you must remember got it understood high pressure and low temperature you have to keep in mind kh and p as pressure increases kh decreases generally henry's constant decreases so high pressure and low temperature you have to keep in mind another thing you see if i ask you here what is the unit of kh unit of kh is what can you tell me what is the unit of kh tell me gram per atmospheric how it is gram a is concentration no a is concentration so it is so it is uh, mole per liter per atm this is the unit it's not gram it's mole per liter per atm okay now you see if i write down this kh on the right hand side i can also write down this kh on the left hand side right so this is if i write down this kh this side or we can also write this p in the other way p is equals to kh dash into a and where this kh dash the another henry's constant is equals to 1 by kh we can write and its unit will be what this unit will be liter atm per mole this is the another unit and this is the another expression also okay this is the another unit similarly you see if the num if the, if the number of moles of gases increases in the solution so we can also say that the partial pressure of the gas is directly proportional to the mole fraction of the gas in the solution more number of moles and hence more will be the mole fraction hence we can also write p is equals to kh into x again the another henry's constant kh double dash or kh you can write where the unit of this kh is what unit of this kh is atmospheric yeah now the point is i have given you three different expression right for henry's law the first one the second one is kh dash into a and the third one is kh into x in terms of mole fraction got it so which expression we are going to use in the question that the first thing so to to do this what you need to do here just a second okay you need to find out the unit of kh unit of henry's constant according to the unit given right we'll use the expression suppose the unit is atm it is given in the question we'll use this expression if the unit is this we'll use this expression and the, if the unit is mole per liter atm we'll use the first expression so depending upon the unit of kh we'll use the expression of henry's law is it clear understood all of you so this is what you need to keep in mind write down one question 
on this the kh of the kh of n2 the henry's constant for nitrogen it is given 10 to the power 5 atm atmospheric and this is at 298 kelvin the mole fraction write down the question the mole fraction just a second the mole fraction of n2 of n2 which is given in the question 80% in air is 0.80 i have written here also mole fraction is 0.80 calculate the number of moles calculate the number of moles of n2 dissolved in dissolved in 10 moles 10 moles of h2o at 298 kelvin at 5 atmospheric pressure do this question all of you the total pressure is given 5 atmospheric number of moles of water is given mole fraction of n2 is given in air you need to find out kh is given you need to find out the mole fraction of number of moles of n2 dissolved done anyone what is the answer are you trying tell me i am not getting any response done anyone did you get the answer tell me first sahana what about you okay see this i'll just do this what we need to find out we need to find out the number of moles so if you get the mole fraction okay so if you find out the mole fraction and then we can find out the number of moles but we and we know the mole fraction you see the kh value is given and the unit of kh is what the kh value is given which is given in terms of atmospheric right so obviously the formula that we have to use here for this question that is uh partial pressure is equals to kh into x the mole fraction of this okay so what is this partial pressure this is the partial pressure of nitrogen right and the mole fraction of nitrogen okay so partial pressure of nitrogen we do not know it's not given in the question right but we can find out this partial mole partial pressure of nitrogen kh is given so partial pressure of nitrogen is what we can write down the mole fraction of nitrogen in vapor phase into the total pressure So mole fraction of nitrogen in air is given 0.80. So that will be 0.80 into 5. Total pressure is 5 atmospheric. So that will be 4. So partial pressure is 4. Kh is 10 to the power minus sorry 10 to the power 5, and mole fraction of N2. So mole fraction of N2 is what? 4 into 10 to the power minus 5. It is a mole fraction of N2. right and this mole fraction what we can write it is the number of moles of nitrogen 
डिवाइडेड बाई द टोटल नंबर ऑफ मोल्स नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन प्लस नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ एच टू ना यू सी द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन मोल फ्रैक्शन इज फोर इंटू टेन टू द पार्ट माइनस फाइव इट मीन्स वॉट द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन इज वेरी लेस इन कंपेरिजन टू द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ वॉटर विच इज टेन मोल्स गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन सो वॉट वी कैन डू we can neglect water neglect nitrogen with respect to water because this value is very less right the hence number of moles of nitrogen is very less and we can write this as n of n2 divided by n of h2o here we have neglected n2 number of moles of n2 with respect to water number of moles of water is given 10 so the number of moles of nitrogen is equals to 4 into 10 to the power minus 5 into 10 Which is equals to four into ten to the power minus four moles. This question was asked in JE. Answer is this only: four into ten to the power minus four mole. Understood, all of you. Got it. So you need to just keep in mind that partial pressure of partial pressure of N two you need to find out. Total pressure we cannot use here, okay? And that will find out with the help of total pressure, okay? Right. 